In recent times, we have seen major automotive companies joining the race for building EV toll for urban transport. In this video, we are going to look at some of the benefits the automotive giants will bring to the development of the new generation of electric aircraft. On 30th of September 2021, one of the biggest automotive manufacturers, Honda, confirmed its plan for a hybrid EV toll aircraft. The rendered images of its design were circulated, which suggest that the aircraft will follow a lift plus cruise configuration. There will be a total of eight medium-sized boom-mounted lift rotors with blade diameters of above 1.5 meters and two ducted propellers for cruise. The aircraft also has high aspect ratio aft wings with end plate type winglets. Honda's internal research suggests that the strongest market for EV tolls will not be urban or extra urban, but regional travel. And so their aircraft is being designed with a range of 250 miles. They can expect to have working prototypes by the year 2023. However, the projected date for a fully certified version of the VTOL isn't until 2030. Why is it important? It is because automotive companies at present have got a significant body of knowledge for electrical drivetrains and in particular battery and fuel cell technology. It is an area where aerospace companies have very low exposure. There is a lot that goes into creating a robust battery pack from lithium ion battery cells. From cooling systems to handling vibration, ensuring structural integrity, maintaining safety and preventing thermal propagation are all areas where automotive companies that are producing EVs have already got expertise. In the case of Honda, not only it has produced EVs such as the Honda E, but has also delved into aerospace through its subsidiary, the Honda Aircraft Company. The Honda Jet is the top-selling twin-engine light business jet that has won several accolades for its efficient design. There is one other element which gives Honda the edge. It is the fuel cell system. Honda has been rolling out the fuel cell car, namely the Honda Clarity, since 2008. And all these enabling power system technologies make Honda the perfect candidate to develop a EV toll of 250 mile range and possibly more. It is not just Honda, but there are other mainstream automotive companies such as GM, Hyundai, and Toyota, as well as more specialized high-performance car manufacturers like Porsche and Aston Martin, who are in the mix for producing the new age vertical transport systems. It is also advantageous for the electric aircraft industry as a whole that each automotive company is focused on a different type of aircraft with different missions. For example, GM is looking at a small range personal drone for inner city commuting. The Hyundai SA1 is a typical five seater EV toll with a 60 mile range, while both Porsche and Aston Martin are developing low capacity, high performance V toll aircraft. As for Toyota, it has been for the most part sitting on the fence, but has started to get involved, albeit not directly. It has backed up a startup called SkyDrive and has also invested $394 million in one of the standout EV toll developer, namely Joby Aviation. The involvement of Toyota is significant as it holds one of the key for EV toll success in the near future it is one of the few companies that has been developing solid state battery and has over a thousand patents for this type of battery alone. The solid state battery resolves many of the issues that plague the current lithium ion batteries and higher energy density is of course one of them. The reported energy density of the upcoming solid state battery by Colorado based solid power is 330 watt hour per kilogram and is expected to reach 400 watt hour per kilogram by 2022. QuantumScape has shown that their battery in the current pre-commercial form has 400 watt hour per kilogram capacity, but is on the path to 600 watt hour per kilogram. Toyota, on the other hand, has been most guarded about its solid state battery. There is very little information that has been divulged about it. What is currently known is that the battery will have extremely low calendar aging. That is, the battery will retain 80% of its capacity 
even over a 30 year lifespan. Toyota's solid state battery is currently undergoing road tests. Having said that, the production of solid state batteries by Toyota will begin in 2025. However, when it is rolled out, experts believe that it will have higher energy density, lower cost, and longer life than everything else in the market. But what does this mean for the EV toll industry? Well, even the energy density increase to 450 watt hour per kilogram would translate to doubling of the range of most of the current electric aircraft. One has to remember that the solid state battery generates a lot less heat compared to lithium ion and therefore doesn't have to be supplemented by a clunky cooling system. This in turn means that you have to carry a lot less auxiliary weight with a solid state battery. Therefore, the current EV toll with the range of urban to extra urban can easily be moved to regional transport with a solid state battery. As for the aerospace companies, most of them aren't waiting for the batteries to reach the energy density threshold of 400 watt hour per kilogram, but are also looking at other technologies that will be revealed shortly. Now, other than urban commuter transportation, EV tolls are opening up another application. This is the luxury or premium urban mobility sector. The German car manufacturer Porsche has come up with an interesting design. It has filed a patent for an aircraft that uses a blended wing configuration that has two wing embedded rotors and two tilting ducting rotors at the rear. The novel feature of this aircraft is the extendable bank of louvers over the horizontal fans. These can open and close depending upon the mode of flight. For example, the louvers close when the aircraft is flying horizontally to reduce the drag. The wing will also bend 90 degrees to form landing skids while the aircraft is landing. A second example of luxury electric aircraft is that of Aston Martin's three-seater the Volante Vision. This stylish and sleek vehicle seems straight out of a James Bond movie and is very cleverly engineered. The Volante features two forward tilting coaxial rotors and one fixed coaxial rotor at the rear. So in total there are six motors powering the propulsion system. The front rotors are over a meter while the rear rotors are over two meters in diameter. Both its scanners and wings also double up as landing skids. While Porsche hasn't revealed the power source for its aircraft, Aston Martin has. It will be banking on Rolls-Royce hybrid electric power system. This system is being looked at by not just Aston Martin, but a lot of aerospace companies to power up regional electric transport. This system is called the PGS-1 and is the size of a keg but can deliver 2.5 megawatts of electricity on demand. It is basically a gas turbine system that has been optimized to run an electric generator. This compact system weighs less than 300 kilograms with power electronics like inverters and current carriers excluded. It packs a serious punch and can deliver 2.5 megawatts of power at a power density of nearly 10 kilowatts per kilogram. For comparison, the best battery can deliver 1.5 kilowatts per kilogram, but only for about 20 seconds. Rolls-Royce are currently performing tests for the PGS-1. Once rolled out, it will be a game changer. So to recap, automotive companies that are developing EV toll will accelerate progress in the electric aviation sector. Automotive manufacturers have methods, procedures, and resources in place to ensure robust products, and that is what separates them from many of the startups developing EV tools. We also noted that the progress of electric aviation sector is not tied to the progress in lithium-ion batteries alone. The emergence of solid-state batteries and hybrid electric systems like Rolls-Royce PGS-1 and the dropping price of fuel cells and green hydrogen are all enabling technologies that can replace lithium ion batteries in the near future. Note that fuel based systems can be run on sustainable aviation fuels to achieve green targets, while further reductions can be attained through efficient electric aeropropulsive systems. 
And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.